What up guys, Mayen here with another video breaking down my fifth track of 2019. One of my main goals is to write 50 tracks on 2019 and this is my fifth track. Boom. If you're new to my channel, hit the bell, click subscribe to get my latest videos. I am going to change the format of uh, this track reviews and I'm going to break it down day by day uh, showing you guys what I do to get a track done. Let's do this. Hi guys, so this is my track number five for 2019. Uh, let's let's go through it uh, so for my future track reviews what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start recording every day what I do uh, so you guys can get to see how I put everything together but uh, for this one I'm just gonna show you what I did so with every track I have like you know like the arrangers and markers so I know what's gonna ha what's going to be happening throughout the track then I start with my kick and bass, right? So let me mute this stuff. Listen. So again, you know, this is a, a houseier track. Um, this is for another name that I have as an artist. So same, you know, like my kick, my rolling bass. This one I made with my sub 37. Super quick and easy. Then tap kick, taking out everything under 120, taking out some of that energy, rolling it out. So then I added this top part of the bass line, right? So it goes well together with this one, with the low end. It just changes the dynamic of, of the bass line. This one. So with the kick, it dances well. And that is just key when making music, especially dance music. All right. So let's move on to my mid drums. All right, shaker. Remember, directional mix, because this one had a lot of uh, face canceling issues. Gunny shaker. That one I recorded uh, out of like those like uh, little like egg thing recording things, like egg shakers, open hi-hat, coming from uh, the off the track. So over here, you know, I bring in another hi-hat. This one's a little bit like brighter than some claps. So one set of claps is a little bit brighter than the other one, and then some shakers here in the breaks. Actually some snares, sorry. So to add a little bit more movement, right? So let's see how this all sounds with the kick and bass. So this is the basic groove of the track, right? So then I added some percussive elements.
so that's what is what I, I did for the percussions uh, this one's were recorded this one's the loop these two were recorded from the uh, octatrack now let's see how it all sounds together So this this ones are some um, ambience elements uh, to start the track with, and then some elements that go throughout, like the breaks and whatnot. Uh, so let me show you what I did here. Some stabs; those were made with the electron analog four. So let's hear him with the rest of the track. So especially with like in the areas where like there's not much going on, you know, I needed those little extra elements. I used the Korg Me log to write different synth sounds. So let me show you over here what I did. So the original name for this track was going to be Epsom Ice because I had messed up my ankle playing soccer. Or football. So this one is a little arpeggio that I made up. So there's different sections for the same arpeggio that I did with the halo. You can see everything starts to make sense with melodies and all this other stuff, right? Alright. So, this one's gonna go over here. Alright, so then we also have some electro electron sounds happening here. Or synth sounds. This is more like a stab. Like a brassy stab. So this one helps a lot with transitions, build-ups, and breaks. So some elements take the place of other elements in this room. So this track has a vocal element that is uh, really important for it. Let me show you the original and then it was transformed. More of a housey like uh, uh, vocal. Transition as well. Oh, yeah. 
So I think this one right here is gonna have to go. filler element so if you listen to it so it just adds a little bit um, especially for transitions that I have here um, which kind of interesting let me show you a little bit break some fillers yeah a long reverb was made with Space Designer, Long Dream. It's gonna be the same for this one right here. Same sound. Let me see. So this one. This one actually like it does have a Valhalla. Which I need to do this again. Okay, I'm not gonna even do it now. But it has the over Valhalla. It makes it sound different, and then it has an H delay with a ping pong effect. Um, and then, same thing happens. A little bit different. And then, this is the riser sound. Air build up. Doom, doom. All right. So let's have a listen to this track from the second part. Time to do a review of your tracks. 
Thank you. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good night.